हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय टुडे टॉपिक इज एपिस्कलराइटिस एपिस्कलराइटिस इट इज अ बेनाइन रिकरेंट एंड इन्फ्लामेशन ऑफ द एपिस्कलरा इन्वॉल्विंग द ओवरलाइंग टेनेंस कैप्सूल बट नॉट अंडरलाइंग द स्कलेरा इट इज अ टाइपिकली अफेक्ट द यंग एडल्ट एंड बींग ट्वाइस एज कॉमन इन वुमेन देन मेन etiology in etiology first it comes the idiopathic means exact etiology is not known in many cases then second is the systemic disease associated with the episcleritis including gout then third is hypersensitivity reaction to endogenous tubercular or streptococcal toxins then the last etiology is infectious scleritis may be caused by herpes zoster virus syphilis etc In pathology histologically there is occurrence of localized him lymphocytic infiltration of episcleral tissue associated with edema and congestion of the overlying tenons capsule and conjunctiva Then in clinical features symptoms are redness and mild ocular discomfort described as giddiness burning and the foreign body sensation but rarely there is a mild photophobia and lacrimation may occurs now the sign of the episcleritis on the basis of examination there are two clinical types first is simple episcleritis and the second one is the nodular episcleritis Simple episcleritis accounts for 75% of cases and is characterized by the sectorial inflammation of episclera. The engorged episcleral vessels are large and run in radial direction beneath the conjunctiva. Nodular episcleritis is characterized by a pink or purple flat nodule surrounded by injections, usually situated 2 to 3 mm away from the limbus. The nodule is firm, tender and can be moved separately from the sclera and the overlying conjunctiva also moves freely. Now finally the treatment given is tropical non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug tropical mild corticosteroid eye drop tropical artificial tears 0.5% carboxymethyl cellulose then cold compression applied to close lid may be offer symptomatic relief from the ocular discomfort lastly systemic non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs